Hi guys, I'm Justine and welcome back to my channel. So I got a package today in the mail and it is something that I ordered a while ago. It has taken forever to get here but I'm super excited about it and I've seen a couple people, well actually quite a few people, um, test these out but I wanted to test them out. So today we are going to test these out and they're falling out of the package. I don't know what's going on here. So, okay, so I purchased these a while ago. I saw some people doing them um, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all kinds of different sites. But there's like a couple different brands. This brand is called Romantic Bear. You guys see that? Romantic Bear. It is a long lasting lip color. I purchased the six pack, which is the largest pack they have, I believe. And I think when people have tested them out, have looked pretty incredible. Um, so today I am going to test them out. I'm going to do some swatches on my hand and I'm actually going to try two different ones on my lips. So we are going to read the instructions, which say how to use. Apply the tint pack along the lip line. Wait 5 to 10 minutes for the tint pack to dry. After 5 or 10 minutes, peel off the tint pack from the edge to the center. That is very vague directions. So, yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, I've seen a couple people do this on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all kinds of different, different, um, channels. And again, I cannot open the package. I had this problem last video. All right. So now that I got it out of the package, um, it looks just like all the other ones that I've seen. That is the front of it. Is it a, it is a, uh, lip. Ooh, ooh, ah, guys, what is, ah. So I feel like they overflowed the packaging and it is just coming out and it's everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that on there. And seriously, it's just like flowing out of the package. Okay, so this is the one that I really wanted to try. Like I said, this... I've seen a couple of people try different brands. Most of them look like this. Um, this is the cherry red. So this is one I'm going to put on my bottom lip. And then I'm going to put the rose pink on my top lip. And then we're going to peel them off. I'm going to apply this and I'll be right back. But I have now applied the cherry to the bottom and the rose, I think. The rose pink on my top and the cherry on my bottom and my lips are touching but it still has to wait 10 to 15 minutes for this to dry so I'm going to let this dry and I will be back it is super sticky just so Erin knows and yeah I am not loving this right now I'm not loving it at all okay I'll let this dry for the next 10 to 15 minutes and I will be back. So, like I said, I put one color on the bottom and one color on top and they are dry. Nothing on my fingers. Well, I mean, there is some. But that's from when I used the cherry red on my bottom lip. Cherry red. And then I used the rose pink. Is that what it's called? Yeah, rose pink on my top lip. And then, like I said, I bought a six pack. Um, some of the colors I probably will not use. Like the watermelon color, that just seems really light for me. Not something I'm really going to probably use. The sexy red, on the other hand, totally might use that depending on how deep this cherry turns out to be. Um... The lovely peach I might use. I'm not sure about the sweet orange. Don't know if I want to go super 
a little limpa-ish on my lips, but maybe try something new. Who knows? So, like I said before, um, I bought a six-pack on, I want to say it was Groupon. I don't really remember. But as I'm talking, this is actually starting to lift, so talking is actually a good thing. So, we're going to go ahead and peel these off. <gasps> ah! Ah! That is so cool. Like, it's my lip, guys. Look at that! That's so cool. It's totally like my little lip. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. And then the other one, I'm going to just stretch my lip again. And there it goes. And that one came off really nicely. Alright, so what do you guys think? So this one is definitely darker than the top. Might totally go two-toned all the time. Super, super cute um, colors came out of that. Now there is not a huge difference between the two and my opinion, I mean, the top is a little, is lighter than the bottom, but not super light. I don't know how to explain that. Um, there's not really any instructions after that. Um, let's see. Not any color really coming off on my finger. And not, there's a little bit of shimmer on there. Um, but yeah, so those two came out pretty well. I think I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other ones on my hand for you guys so you guys can see the other colors. Um, but in my opinion, these do work. I don't know if there's something that I'm going to be really into, um, but I did buy them, so I guess I should use them, but I don't know. This goopy okay that's my lip but seriously this goopy goop that it starts out as is very intimidating and goopy and gross and it does weird me out that when you open the package the for the first time that it does kind of expand like they overfilled these um, the good thing is the ingredients list is very low. Vitamin E oil, rose hips oil, is that say hearts? I don't even know. No, rose hips oil, um, aloe essence, natural fruit ens essence, polyverpaline, and mixed waxes. Um... And then it tells you the stains it may contain. So I don't know why it says may, because obviously these are lip stains, so they do contain stains. So that's a little weird to me. But like I said, they worked pretty well. Um, I used these two colors. One is cherry red, the other is rose pink. And so... What do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments what you think about these two colors. I am going to swatch the other four on my arm, maybe, on my arm right there, so you guys can see them. The swatches have dried and I have peeled them. Now this one I think I did a little too, this one? This one, I think I did a little too thick, and so it does have a weird look to it, but we'll start with this first one. This, So this first one right here, that is lovely peach. It is supposed to be this pinky color. I think it turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? I think it's... Our second one is the... second one is Sexy Red. It came out to be this one. Now this one I did put on a little too much. And it got this weird ring in the center. But it still turned out pretty okay. The next one is the watermelon. 
So the melon one is this third one right here, and it turned out pretty well. The color does match pretty good, and this is one that I thought I wouldn't like, and I actually do. So yeah. <laughs> Last but not least is the sweet orange, which is this color, and again, I don't think I will ever use this on my lips. It's a little different for me, but hey, who knows? Maybe one day I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> so those are my swatches for these little lip things. They are pretty good. Um, like I said before, they don't really rub off, but I'm more of a matte liquid lipstick kind of girl, so who knows? I might use these in a pinch, or if I'm going to like a theme park and I don't want to wear full makeup, or something like that, something where I want something on my lips but I don't want to go all out, <clears throat> these might come in handy for a spur of the moment or something small or like all of a sudden somebody calls me and they're like, hey, I'm on my way to your house. And I'm like, ah, what do I do? So if you guys liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down below anything you have to say. Um, I love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. The company for these will be linked down below. And if I can find the Groupon link, I will Groupon them to you guys too. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for coming and seeing me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.